What do you mean by the term linear control system and non-linear control systems? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju. Welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community, where I make engineering easy for you. So let us ask yourself that obvious question. What do you mean by the term a linear control system? Well, for now. So let us consider a particular control system like this. Let us consider a particular control system. Now, in this control system, when we apply an input signal of say x1 of t, then we will get an output which is equal to y1 of t which is equal to the transform of x1 of t. That is, we will get an output which is a function of this particular input x1 of t. So similarly, in the same control system, if we give another input, say x2 of t, then we will also get another output, say y2 of t, which is equal to the same transform, but of x2 of t. So therefore, here in this particular control system, be it whatever we give, be it x5 of t or x7 of t or x12 of t, we will get an output y12 of t is equal to transform of this particular input x12 of t. So therefore, a control system is said to be linear if it obeys the superposition principle. The superposition principle states that if a constant A into this particular transform, say T of X1 of T, plus another constant, say B, into this particular transform, that is T of X2 of T, is equal to the transform of the sum of these two inputs, that is the transform of the whole of a into x1 of t plus b into x2 of t. So therefore, if a particular control system obeys this particular principle, which is a superposition principle, then that control system is said to be linear. And if it does not obey this particular principle, then it is said to be a non-linear control system. As simple as that, there's nothing more to it. All we have to do is the fact that we have to check if a particular control system obeys the principle of superposition theorem. And if it obeys the principle of superposition theorem, then we can say that that particular control system is linear or that particular control system is non-linear. So now let us see a few examples. The questions that can be asked from this section are, check if this particular control system is a linear control system or a non-linear control system. So let us see a few questions that can be asked from this particular section. So the question, first question let us see, is y of t is equal to x squared of t, is it a linear or a non-linear system? So here the transform is given as x squared of t, that is if the input is say x1 of t, then the output y1 of t is a transform of x1 of t, which is given as x1 squared of t. Now, the same case, in the case of x2 of t, we can say that the output y2 of t is a transform of x2 of t, which is given by the equation x2 squared of t. So this now makes the left hand side of this particular equation, that is the individual transforms, x1 of t, transform of x1 of t is x1 squared of t, and now transform of x2 of t is x2 squared of t. But now, next we have to take the right hand side, which is a transform of the combination of these two signals, that is the transform of x1 of t plus x2 of t. So therefore, here we get the transform of x1 of t plus x2 of t. But here it is the transform of x1 of t plus x2 of t. So therefore, here this entire thing is a whole input. So therefore, this output we will get equal to x1 of t plus x2 of t, the whole squared. Here, the entire expression is given as input. So therefore, we will get the whole squared. So therefore, this is equal to x1 squared plus x2 squared plus 2x1, x2. So here, when we compare it with this particular equation, we can say that the sum of these two is not equal to this particular expression because here we have an additional expression 2x1, x2. So therefore, this kind of a system is a non linear system. So here, because x1 squared plus x2 squared is not equal to x1 squared plus x2 squared plus 2x1, x2, therefore, it is said to be 
a non-linear system. So this is how we check whether a particular system is a linear system or a non-linear system. So now let us see another example. Here we saw the case when y of t is equal to x square of t. Now let us see the case where y of t is equal to just x of t. So in that case, what do we observe here? The first one, when we give an input x1 of t, we get the output y1 of t, which is a transform of x1 of t, which is equal to x1 of t itself. Similarly, in the case of x2 of t, we get the output y2 of t is equal to a transform of x2 of t, but here the transform is x2 of t itself. And now in the combination of x1 of t plus x2 of t, we get this equal to the transform of the combination of x1 of t plus x2 of t which is equal to the sum x1 of t plus x2 of t itself. That is whatever input we are giving, we are getting that as the output. That is what it states here. Whatever input we are giving, we are getting that as the output. Whatever input we are giving, we are getting that as the output. Whatever input we are giving, we are getting that as the output. Whatever input we are giving, we must get that as the output. So here we get x1 of t plus x2 of t as output. So therefore, when we compare this with the superposition principle, we get x1 of t plus x2 of t is equal to x1 of t plus x2 of t. So therefore here the LHS is equal to the RHS and therefore this is a linear system. So this thus is simply how we identify if a particular control system is a linear control system or a non-linear control system. As simple as that guys. All we have to do is that we have to know this particular principle which is a superposition principle and we have to compare the left hand side and the right hand side with the particular equation that we are given with. If it satisfies the superposition principle then it is said to be a linear system and if it does not satisfy the superposition principle then we call it a non-linear control system. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a linear and a non-linear control system. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.